call to order this meeting of the Central Business Architecture Committee, which was uh, advertised on October 6th and 13th, 2016. And um, we're here to uh, review two permit applications. I don't, I, I only see um, applicants here, but um, so I don't think we have any public comment. So if, if there's no public comment on general things, We'll go right ahead with the first um, application of Thomas Douglas Architecture for three new sidewall windows at 109 Main Street, Northampton. Map ID 32A-140. Hello, Tom. Hi, my name is Tom Douglas. I'm an architect in Northampton. Uh, this is 109 Main Street. It's the Urban Outfitters building. Uh, the project you can see in front of you, the, the top photo that you're looking at, the building to the left was the original and then split down the middle where you see that part that projects that was built, I think, in the 70s. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know. I don't Could you any... talk a little bit louder, yeah. please? So um, we want to, we're going to occupy, there's a new tenant that's going to occupy the second floor rear of this building. So Urban Outfitters <laughs> occupies the whole front, the old section of the building. And then, so we're going to be in the rear of the building. It was a former bank uh, building where we're going to be in is a, a former office for that bank. Um, so that's to the left is the view looking down Gothic Street, to the right is the view looking uh, down that alley between First Church and, uh, and our building. This is a floor plan, it's the second floor of the building. Uh, so this is just the back section there and we're, there's, uh, there's a state uh, lawyer's office that's going to uh, be the tenant for this build out here um, and it's basically just an interior build out a whole bunch of private offices and um, there's a number of them that that would um, need some windows so we're here just to look at the windows that we wanted to put in for that building so top elevation is existing bottom elevation is proposed so sorry I don't have a laser pointer um, but, oh there's the mouse okay so you can see uh, here, there's no windows, on that that one exists, down here, oops, um, down here we're putting in two windows on either side of that, that, that um, so two new windows on either side of that existing, so that's all for that elevation, and then, uh, sorry, that will go. Carolyn, is there a trick to make it go to the next? Oh, just hit enter, or um, you can also click the, uh, see the arrow at the top of the menu bar? An arrow there. Either slide the bar down on the far right of the screen. Down here? Uh, up. <laughs> I think it just moved for you on the arrow. Right oh, it did? Okay, yes. Okay, okay, sorry. Did you see it? Yeah. Okay. 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 So that elevation, we're putting in two new windows. This is the rear elevation of the building facing the police station parking garage. Um, you can see that there is the existing elevation. That's the proposed. We're putting in one window right there. So here's a um, detail of the new window that we're working on, that we're proposing on both of those facades. So it's a piece of glass in the middle, a little hopper or awning window in the bottom. Is there aluminum windows um, to match what's already there, uh, aluminum framed black windows. And then there's a pre-cast stone um, trim around it. So we're gonna match that. And I have a sample of the, um, the material we're gonna use so we can get it made and um, we have some standard colors. We can, there's one that matches uh, what's existing. We can get it made in any shape that we want so they can make the shapes on it pretty easily. And then one other thing that I didn't include in my package um, that the owners just asked me to do, so that's why I didn't include it in my package, is this is a back, this is the side of the building facing First Churches. So um, these little square windows don't exist now. So I'm asking permission for these but I also have a question about whether they're even visible from the public way and whether they even need approval because you can see that elevation is 
in that section of the building right there. So you really, visibility from Main Street is practically nil for those windows and they're going to be up so high um, and so, such limited view. We weren't even planning on flat trimming them out in that precast stone, but we were just going to have a uh, brick soldier course for a header and then a soldier course for a sill. Aluminum sill would lap over that um, lower sill, uh, brick sill. And, and it would just be an aluminum window. The sides are just a masonry cut. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Can you go to the rear elevation? What does that mean? I can't, I, I can't read that. So what does it say? I just hit, um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, just hit close. I'm only a mask. <laughs> just hit user. enter. <laughs> no, no, to the right, to the right. Okay, sorry. Hit close. Tap, tap the pad. Okay. There you go. So that's so, the rear elevation. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's your own opinion about the fact that now you're creating an asymmetrical situation? Um, my opinion is that window will almost never be seen because it is. Uh, it's right back there. I'm so to Gothic Street, I think it is. No. Really See, here's here. That's the rear elevation right there. This is the existing window. So even over here to the right of it is where that new window would be. So I think you'll almost never see that window. Are you talking about the rear facing the parking garage? Yes, yeah. it faces the parking garage. But we, Bob, you were asking about the Gothic Street side. No, I'm saying I. I don't, there's no good photographs of what that looks like driving up Catholic Street. Like if you're driving next to the garage towards Main Street, you look at the rear of that building. And I'm just wondering, is that really, you know, it's, your drawing is a, is a frontal elevation, right. but it doesn't represent what you see. And I'm, just, and I, I'm, I'm not clear on what you yeah. actually see. So that's a very distorted. Mm -hmm. Wide angle photograph. I, I can't. The one, the one in the well. bottom right is the one he's referring yeah. to. So, uh, so it's down. It's down a little. That little alleyway. See between the police station and the. Uh, so, okay. Thank you. Okay. So, see, so right there is the yeah, existing yeah. window. Yeah. The new one's going to be over here to the right of it, or our right of it. So you'd have to walk. I mean, here you wouldn't see it at all. I think as you get closer going up Gothic Street, you won't see it at all. Only when you walk down that little alley and you look straight up will you see it. But to be honest with you, I know I have to get approval for that window and the one facing Gothic Street. They're probably not going to get built. Not, not that that makes any difference at all, but they, the cost of them is, is, is a lot. In I was going to say, with all that precast yeah. custom work, I know there are the little windows on the other side, I personally, I don't have an issue with. I mean, they are virtually hidden. Right. Yeah. Uh, no exists. So, how do I go forward now? Just go to the, um, see up at the menu bar on the top, where the, it says one of eight or whatever the page number it is, and there's an arrow next to it, up, up top, <laughs> over to the left. See the arrow, down arrow? You can either type, yeah, right there. You can either, yeah, right there. This is such a weird mouse, and nothing clicks when you touch it. Are you using the pad or the mouse? Okay, there, sorry. The mouse works I'm sorry. Okay, so um, these windows here, I, again, I thought that they really wouldn't be particularly visible. In the <coughs> yeah, I mean, I, I personally don't appreciate that at all. So, uh, some so basically, the, the two windows on the side of the one are, if they are to be built, they're going to be built virtually as replicas yeah. of what's yes. there. Yeah. And so maybe someday in the future they'll build them. I think they're not going to do them in this current project. So I'm really here to get approval for something that might happen in the future. Tom, are you done with your? I am. Yes. I apologize for being late. 
Um, I just want to open it up to the board for any further discussion. Yeah. Well, I just want to say I appreciate everything that was put together, the existing photos, the details that you put together, and the materials that just was so easy to review, okay. actually. And um, the only thing I'm thinking of is with these windows, if you wouldn't by any chance value engineer them out, like the precast and things like that. This N No. I mean, it just you, you would exactly what you said. Yeah, you would it approve will, what I'm showing, and, that's great. and then I can't go back and change okay. what I get approval for. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any further comment from the board? Does anyone from the public like to make a comment? Um, can I get a motion to close the public hearing? Can I? There's there's one other thing that um, I think that isn't going to make any difference at all, but. Um, that window right there, we're going to replace it with a, a window that looks, it's identical to, to what's existing. That, that wood window is all rotted out now, so we're going to get a new Marvin replacement. Um, it's, it's a double hung, so it's going to look identical to what's existing. Um, the middle one that, is that what you're saying? I, I, yeah, that, that very large one. sorry, that oh. window right oh, there, okay. this, this well, old yeah, historic I, one. It's just so, a, you're replicating it basically. We are, yes. Yeah. So that's that window right there. Yeah. I think that gets approved by Louie and, and, and doesn't come to you, but I just wanted to tell you. Uh, okay. Motion to close the public hearing. I made a oh, I make a motion to close the public. <laughs> Second. Second. Um, any further board discussion? Would someone please make a motion? I make a motion to um, pass this present tape, pass this submission as presented uh, with the three windows being rel replicas of uh, or matching the same details as existing and also including, how many windows on the other side? Six. Inclu and then including the six square windows on the alley side that will be done with brick soldier courses for the sill and head with salt cut sides. Three side openings. Does that sound mm -hmm. good enough? Give me a second. All in favor? All right. Thank you. Thank you. The sill is a sailor course, not a soldier. Uh, the sill is a sailor. Oh, when it's tilted out. When it tips yes. down a little bit? Yes. Well, it's a yeah. sailor. Cool. So the water drains? Yeah. Thank you. It would be the architecture history. Yeah. So we're in our old school. So where's the model? There's some paper library. Yeah, I'll find it for you. It's a great comment. All right, uh, my name is Tom Hartman, Cold War Architects are named. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to open it up. Um, <laughs> so, this is the permit review by Tom Hartman to modify the concrete pediment at 14 Green Street, Northampton. Map ID 31D-52, um, which was published on October 6th and 13th, 2016. And now, would you please? And I'm here with Josh Wellnock from our office as well. Um, yeah, 14 Green Street is the Smith Corner building. It's owned by Smith College. And there's essentially two pieces of work that we're being asked to do. Um, the first is uh, the cupola is in very, very bad repair, and it just simply needs to be fixed. Um, so we're proposing to do that as is, um, you know, take out the rotten wood that's rotten. I'm, I'm having trouble hearing you. Oh, sorry. sorry. Um, so the, there's two pieces of work that we're doing. The first is a cupola. So we're going to replace, we're going to repair the cupola in its current condition. So it'll look identical to what's there. Uh, the second piece is this pediment. And this is a little, little trickier. Um, it's in really bad shape. And um, dangerous. 
so what we want to do is we want to remove it as soon as we can, uh, certainly before the next freeze thaw cycle comes this winter. Um, it's made of precast concrete and it is uh, just basically disintegrating as you can see. There's some pieces and um, we're just concerned that somebody's going to get hurt. So thinking about what do we do, um, our proposal is that what we do is we remove everything above this line here. And then what we do is working with, um, there's copper flashings and copper caps on some of the walls that what we would do is we would then wrap the remaining base that's still there with copper and propose that well, then we could utilize this as some opportunity for signage, uh, perhaps improving on the, the sign that's there now. So that's our simple proposal. Um, you know, we're looking at this as, as uh, what's the most cost-effective, reasonable way to you know, deal with the, the hazard that's there and put something that um, is appropriate to the building. Up to the board for discussion. Did you approach Smith about um, restoring, uh, or I, I should say, have you investigated restoring the pediment, and have you approached Smith at all about helping you to do that? Yes, yeah, so we've talked about, you know, could we essentially replace what's there and make a new precast piece? And the answer right. is yes. It's going to be very expensive to do so. And I think ultimately in 30 years, it's going to look like that. I mean, it's a precast concrete in that condition. It's just not going to last very long. Um, we thought about other opportunities. Would we do something out of a polymer or something like that? It just doesn't seem appropriate um, to try and match it. So um, that's, that's essentially, the, I think, the two options, either replace it completely as it is, or uh, do something that is changing the way it looks um, and uh, working with some of the other elements in the building. You know, the rest of the building is rel relatively simple in its detail. Exactly. Yeah, I was, I, I was just agreeing No, I was just, are, like with Phyton or some of the synthetic cast materials, do they make like like those pineapple, turn pineapple. I'm, I'm sure you could make you like could make it out of yeah. You use a polymer type of material. You know, it's yeah. This morning. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm I'm sort of bothered at the um, move away from sort of the more exuberant classical, almost baroque um, uh, pediment on top of that cornice. Mm -hmm coming down to something that's absolutely flat. And I think it's important when you look at the two elevations to the left, you can see that that corner, um, the upper picture, um, with the detailing on it, makes that a very visually important uh, corner. When you bring it down to the lower elevation, mm -hmm. um, it, that's lost. You know, it's some of the character of the building that's lost. Um, you know, it, it's sort of, you know, you've got a fancy hat on the building, uh, and now you don't have a hat on it. Mm -hmm. And it seems to me that, um, you know, some thought could be put into the design of this rectangle to give it a little bit more character, to put a hat on it. Not necessarily one with all kinds of feathers and gigaws, uh, but just some sort of character that says this corner is important. Because visually, as an entrance to Green Street, but that that's a very dominant building, mm -hmm. uh, even though it's sort of a, a marginal land use uh, architecturally, it's very important. And I think to um, you know give it the sort of crown that it needs, I think uh, you know that would be um, something that should be considered. Did yeah? Did um, so was Smith unwilling to? Uh, support you in any way to try and preserve what's there? Because the reason I ask this is Smith has spent, I mean, <laughs> unbelievable amounts of money to take care of their properties. Um, and uh, they've gotten a lot of historic preservation awards right. for going yeah. Yeah. way, and I don't mean a little bit, I mean way above and beyond what would be necessary. Right. Particularly um, for their replacing, replacing yeah. slate roofs 
comes right. to my mind. Right. And you know, this is a relatively, you know, but this is a relatively small project. I, did you talk to them about it? And, oh yes. And, and they yes. were unwilling I mean, to. No, they're not unwilling. They they asked me to put forward a proposal <laughs> to see what you thought. Okay. Well, <laughs> I think. Well, my thought is that you should go. My thought is that you should go back to them and say, um, this is. Um, I would su I was surprised that Smith would even entertain letting you do this to, to their property, mm -hmm. frankly. Yeah, obviously yeah. place a different value on your commercial investment versus I their... It's, 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 very it's not that in the big picture. It's a charming little early 20th yeah. century building that has all of its fingers and toes, and now you're taking the fingers and toes. Carolyn? Yeah, I just wanted to clarify that um, from a zoning perspective, this um, panel couldn't be used as a sign panel because it's above the roof line. So, um, oh, a signs are only allowed on the building facades or projecting signs. Meaning that's the limit? Yeah. <coughs> there further board discussion? No, I just, I think there should be an attempt to bring some more detailing into this, like a pediment some of those pineapples or something, you know, the bars in the middle. I, I mean, yeah, it costs money, but I, you know, without doing a, a replication of it in cast concrete, I think you could come up with something that's middle ground in terms of expense. Yeah, you know? I mean, we thought about that a little bit, and it that, that almost seems like, why go halfway? I mean, if you're going to replace it. Then go all the way. Let's replace it. Cast right. it. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's really the, the issue yeah. there. Huh. Can, can, can I ask how much money? I don't know. What, 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 how much? How much money were they taught? Was would it cost to to redo the thing in a cast? Company? To redo it in in cast is probably somewhere between twenty to forty thousand dollars. Because it's got to be a custom cast. I mean, you know, what we would do is we would measure exactly what's there, try and take it off, and and at least make it complete. Send it to a casting company and say, do this. Um, so it's a, you know it's a custom piece of work versus potentially you know removing that wrapping it that much less expensive. Right. Um, and I, I guess the the, the if I, by May I mean if if you wanted to say just replace it in kind and that's the directive then that allows us to proceed. But one of the things again we want to do and it's going to take time <laughs> to get this made too. It probably won't be up by we wouldn't put it up until the spring. So what we would want to do is remove this and then put a temporary flashing mm -hmm. over the piece because I think this piece, again, I haven't done the demolition on it um, to see, but I think this base piece is in good enough shape. And if when we take it off, it is, we would cover it for the winter and then come back and try to replace it. So. so what's there is not likely to get through the winter without falling off? Not the top. Uh, it uh, looks pretty small. I'm, uh, I'm not going to say that it's safe. Right? It's not safe. Right. Mm -hmm. A piece of concrete falls from 12 feet on someone's head, you're going to get very injured. Yeah, I, I would even entertain another option instead of replacing in kind with cast concrete. Uh, perhaps do a, um, uh, a metal sculpture that is in that same form that would be up there uh, that gives you the character, uh, but um, you know, not necessarily replicating. Um, you know, the cast uh, mm. concrete, because I think that could be done, you know, fairly easily, and uh, you certainly have good local craftsmen that can do that kind mm. of work, and when you drive past and you look up there and you say, wow, that's, that's fun, because yeah, yeah. that's a fun building, and you're taking the fun out of it. <laughs> yeah, I just question that, I, I don't care the cost, but I'm just saying, I bet doing something like that would probably be comparable to how yeah. cast was you got yeah. the design and the technical design of the fabrication mm -hmm. before you make it versus a casting is just you know I mean there has to be some recreation but a lot of that would be done with mold making you know mm -hmm. uh, so well, the, the other piece uh, you could do is um, continue the hearing and have them um, go back and sort of discuss yeah. look at the options and bring you back sure. something mm -hmm. with a little more mm -hmm. detail rather than making a determination that they have to do it in kind yeah. you know if you wanted them to explore well, different alternatives yeah. and I don't I don't know that we I don't know that we can can we I, I'm not sure that we could say you have to replicate ex 
exactly what's there. But you, but I would say that I would be in favor of continuing the hearing and asking you to come back with um, something that looks a lot better. And I would suggest that you go to whoever the person is at Smith and say the board's not mm -hmm. gonna let me do this. We'll bring you ahead. <laughs> I, I think you yeah. need to treat this meeting as sort of a design workshop. Sure. Or you, you've thrown a proposal on the table, we comment on it. And you <laughs> on it. Um, but I, I think that's the best way to, to yeah. work on a yeah. project like this. Yeah. I mean, to speak of myself, maybe not the whole board, but I, I think you should start with the premise of tell them we would like to see it replicated and see if they really for that. Well, I guess or, I, I would back. I don't know how we would word that. I would back off of that and just say we would like to see a level of detail that is similar to what is there, right. Right. but perhaps not replicated mm -hmm. exactly um, or open to other materials. Alternate materials would be right. I think what is interesting about the existing conditions when you see the, the whole building is there's sort of three gable ends in a way, that, and, and this is the center piece. And so it, it does deserve some more detail mm -hmm. than what's presented. It's a good phrase, it deserves. So your next meeting officially is November 1st, and then the next one would be in December. So I don't know if two weeks, uh, that's, only, that's only a week and a half, and probably not enough time. So you might want to look no, at a continuation. You think so, November 1st? Okay. So if you I mean, want, you're going to do the work. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'll just look. We don't have any other permits scheduled for that um, date. So it would, and I think we talked about doing a 6:30 um, time for that. So you could put it right up at 6:30 if you wanted to. Um, so I, I'm like, I'll make a motion to continue the, this hearing until no, this is November 1st. You said. November 1st. Um, do you want to open it up to the public at all? I don't know. That. Um, the public has anything to say. And it would still be open, when, obviously, when you continue it. Okay. So it's still open. So. No comment from the public. Thank you. Um, have you ever seen pictures of the public? Thing? That was yes. Can I, can I, no, no, can I get a motion to continue the meeting, please? Just did. Oh, you did. did I get a second for the motion to continue? Thank you. All in favor? Aye. That says the new plume shops on it. Which is right. yeah. So it does have a sign on there now. Maybe a sign could be grandfathered. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's not an actual one. Notes, Minutes, yeah. Minutes. I have an extra copy. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Heard your name, Nettie. Okay, have you all, so, hello, and the table, a little more business here. Uh, if we can just get a motion to approve the minutes from our last meeting. I make a motion to approve, I, I, I'm yeah. I make a motion to approve the, the minutes from last meeting. I'm oh, sorry. All in favor. Thank you. Is that all of our business, you have it? Yes. Can I get a motion to adjourn? So moved. All in favor? Thank you. All right, now continue your